to be able to spend an, a night in the woods having to fend for themselves without any kind of communication with the outside world taught them that what they have already with each other matters the most. And so they truly learned what it meant to work together. They get to do things that they've never thought they could do, that they never get to experience. You get to go and rappel off the side of a dam and then you can also sit quiet and just look out over the lake and just feel that tranquility and that peace. I learned from myself that I could be a leader. Well, I mainly discovered that I could do a lot more than I thought I could. I learned how to be fearless. You have to trust others and you can't just depend on yourself all the time. Being in the outside world and seeing what all these the creatures calling about are like instead of like being trapped inside a room. That you got to see the other side of the world other than the city. Like it's real dark, like it's no light at night, but if you drive around New York City, you're gonna see like a lot of light. I think what they remember the most is the cabins mm -hmm. and that really, that shocking experience I think being in 6th or 7th grade of being away from home and the comforts of home. The most important part of my recent stay at Blairstown was um, uh, really getting the sense of the community. So you know how to trust, trust each other, um, depend on one another mm -hmm. and you become a, a big family. I just didn't know I could do so much. Take more risk, take a lot of risk because it's going to be messy there. You're going to do things that you're not going to be able to do. I didn't know I could canoe. I didn't know I could do the hikes. And I just discovered I could do so much more. You have to get through it with one another. Find a buddy that will help you out or get you through things. I have seen the kids uh, more able to work together. Um, seen a little bit more teamwork, uh, especially with students uh, that in the past may have had a little bit of negativity with each other. The unique opportunity to be able to um, be with my students outside of the classroom. Participating with them in that kind of, it was so beautiful. It was so nice to have fun, just get active, get sweaty with them, and see what a true community is, and in action versus in words. When our class was in ninth grade, we didn't really work together. We, we had like different cliques and stuff like that, but now it's like everyone talks to each other, we're all cool, even if we get into an argument, we make right back up. It's like we know how to work together now, we know how to get about differences and problems. When you're eating breakfast together and lunch together and rappelling together or rope climbing together, um, that, that's, there's something special about that that you don't get in a classroom or in a school setting. I think with the trip and with the program as a whole, I believe that our students are increasing in their understanding of how to effectively relate to their peers. I've heard a lot of students say that PBC is more fun than class, so to me that means that they're having a great time, but they're also learning from it. Princeton Blairstown Center was peaceful. Princeton Blairstown Center was awesome. Princeton Blairstown Center was incredible. Princeton Blairstown Center was an adventure. Princeton Blairstown was really exciting. Princeton Blairstown Center was exquisite. Princeton Blairstown Center was exciting and at the same time challenging in many different ways.